Hi guys, it's Kevin with Go for Lax, and today I am reviewing the new True Head, the True Key. So it's uh, True's newest edition, and uh, should be releasing shortly. A couple cool things about this one <clears throat> is the the new face shape. So if I had a frequency, I'd be kind of glued right here comparing them, but I don't have one with me right now. The face shape for this reminds me a lot of the Evo X6. Um, you know, it's pinched enough that it releases the ball really well, it's really accurate, but it's not so box pinched that it's difficult to catch with. Um, catching radius on this is really nice. The ball, almost like uh, the Mark 2F, <clears throat> for an example, always seems to hit the sweet spot. Um, so. On that element, it's uh, nice. <clears throat> uh, a couple new features on this. Um, the first one to point out, and as you can see, there are a ton of sidewalls in this one. I think it's, what, 34? And hopefully you can see the top one up here. Instead of one being one big angled hole like on, uh, let's say, like on the frequent or on the frequency on the 2B where they're bigger slots this one's almost in <clears throat> a, a figure eight pattern there are two holes right next to each other so it's really easy to pull that knot through and that loop start and yet it's not so big that you have to double up you can single up with that it's pretty easy the top now is the point between these two is extremely tight. So what I would recommend to make sure everything's symmetrical and the mesh is right in the middle is stringing from the middle out on this one instead of stringing from left to right if you normally do that. That way you can start out here and pull everything tight. Otherwise you may have to go back and fight because it's gonna be, the middle of the mesh is gonna be pulled more to one side than the other. Like I said, cause this gap right here is a little longer than normal around with the, the point end of the scoop, it uh, creates a few obstacles if you don't uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, other than that, stringing it up, a couple recommendations I would give you is to not double up on here. I did singles throughout this because I doubled normally where I would and the pocket was too deep. The way that the head is constructed, much like um, the stallion and even um, the surgeon, you don't have to double up to get a really nice deep pocket. And uh, the rebels like that as well. A lot of the newer heads, you don't have to really crank down far or double up. The, the offset and the shape of the head and the return give you quite a great pocket. Another neat thing is, I'll show you here, there are three screw holes, which you know, I wish companies would have a universal screw hole so you don't have a shaft with two or three holes in it. This is nice that no matter what pretty much shaft you put it on, it's going to fit. And for the time being, the only carbon fiber I had was the Dragonfly 8. So until they release the Shoot Upper Soldiers true comp shaft, um, they'll be on this. But uh, other than that, it was very easy to string up. Um, I finished it off with two fire thread shooters and then some USA theme mesh so I can use it in the shoot after soldiers uh, DC event that's coming up. If you haven't signed up, sign up. So uh, let's go over some other aspects of the head. Uh, the bottom third, so the throat and this area are very similar to like right here, are very similar in the design to the frequency line, uh, but it changes dramatically from that. They've redone the sidewalls, as you can see, and putting this big gap here, it's weird because the top part of it is very sturdy, but I think with this open area here and these holes, there's a slight bit of flex to the head. Now, it's more of a flex on par with um, the gate torque or even the, the command low. So it's not super floppy 
it doesn't impact ground balls or anything like that. So, um, you know, but it's not as stiff as, let's say, the 2F, which is got some heft to it. Um, so I'd put it on par, um, very much like um, torque like. It's almost like they took the great aspects of the X6 and a torque and merged those two together. So overall, I've been playing and shooting with it for a few days now, and I really like it. It seems that every time a company releases a new head, the second generation head is light years ahead of the previous one, even though the previous one, let's say, um, the Mirage and the Frequency were good heads, but the Key and the Rebel are dramatically different and an improvement over the predecessors. So, uh, I like it. It's, I would put it more towards MIDI to attack. Um, I think it would work well as an LSM, but with the slight bit of flex, I would be hesitant on using it as a, as a pole, like a deep pole, strictly in close. One of those, you probably want something with a little bit more rigidity. Um, you know, the scoop, like I said, is tough but you're gonna get some flex on your lift and your poke checks with this. Um, but like I said, shooting offensive midi, attackman, this is a, a great addition uh, to your collection. If you have any questions, hit me up below.